So we've just bought ourselves our first little treat. What have we got, Corin? A bow. Yeah, what flavour we got? Red beans. So that's a steam oh, look bun. Look at that, it's like a little... Mm. Oh, a little, little soft pillow. Little squidgy squidge. Deliciousness. Yeah. Go on then. Okay, so... This is a red bean, we haven't been, tried a no, red bean. No, we've been dying to try one of these. Go for it. Like. Sweet. Very sweet. Mm. It, it's almost like just like sugar in a bun to me. Is it? I want you to try and see what you think. Oh, that's love, really light and mm. pillowy. I don't get a massive bean flavour, it's just ever so sweet to me. Well, I do get sort of a. Do you? Slight bean, but very sweet. It is very sweet, yeah. Mmm. It's nice. I like that. So the red bean steamed bun. Lovely. Mm. Really enjoyed that. Mm. And it was only one one, one ring ringgit get 60. Mm. About 20p. Oh. Bargain. So we've just rocked up at a very well-known Pisang Goreng stall, so it's deep-fried banana. And what sets this stall apart is that they deep-fry the whole banana, not just strip slices. <laughs> oh, it's boiling! Look at that, whole banana. Like a little tiny banana they had over here. Yeah, it looked really sweet and yellow. Wow, what's mm. that like? Oh wow. Really, really crispy on the outside. Mm. Solid inside. It's like creamy, sweet, yeah. gooey. gooey. <laughs> oh, absolutely oh. delicious. Cheers. Oh, what a good choice. Mmm. It's mm -hmm. really juicy. Um, how much were they? One pound? Uh, one ring at 40. 40 each, yes. So we're talking about under 30 pence for yeah. these, and they're absolutely delicious. And there's a queue. What a great little energy snack. <laughs> Cheers. So, what we got there? Here, yeah, which is um, a rice noodle roll. We've got yeah. some tofu inside, some yeah. chili paste, dried onions, and looks like some glass noodles as well. Well, it looks very nice. So, go on, pick it up, get it in. Mm. Mm. What sort of flavours you get in them? Um, it's quite delicate. Yeah. Flavour. Um, you get a hint of the chilli paste, but it's not strong. It's no. more for the flavour than anything. Um, the tofu is nice and creamy. Yeah. Okay. And it's just quite moorish. Do you want to try? Yeah. So, coffee yeah, is supposed to be lovely. Traditional here in Malaysia. So, I'm going to give it a try now. Really like bin pancake. It's got a bit of smoky taste. I don't know. They've cooked the tofu um, on a griddle. It's quite smoky with a lovely chili, sweet chili sauce in there. Crispy onions gives it that sweetness. Very nice. Four ringer, about eighty pence. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come again. We will. Yeah. Thank you. So what you gone for? Oh, look at this. It's like a, well, it's durian ice cream. Soft. Durian Mr. Whippy. That's what, it's yeah. Little, yeah. And it, do you know what? It reminds me of. Go on. It's like, um, like a woody smell I get from durian. It's okay. hmm. unusual. Go for it. Cool, that's different. 
And that reminds me of like like a stew actually. <laughs> yeah, sort of a... So we're going for the taste. Durian ice cream guys. Crazy about durian, eh? That's weird. It reminds me of stew and dumplings. <laughs> that is the weirdest, you know. I've never heard anyone else say that. I'm getting a save, sort of savoury taste. Yeah. Right? Like cooked stewed carrots, that reminds me of. Yeah, I know what you mean. I can, what when I said woody taste, I sort of mean the earth. So I'm getting like an earthy, sort of barky, sort of stewy sort fresh of fresh cut tree with sap sort of I don't know it's it's hard to explain stewed carrots for me that's what it tastes like or stewed turnips like root vegetables yeah that's I, really unusual that's what I mean the taste of the yeah. earth do you but like it I do yeah I do like it nice. hmm. so I'm here eating durian ice cream so what's durian then? So it is classed as one of the smelliest fruits in the world, grown all over Southeast Asia. It's like a knobbly green plant yeah. um, with different grades of orange and yellow flesh inside. It's quite creamy and yeah. pulpy. And they're all different flavours, isn't they? Mm. Explain what people think the flavours are. Um, like. Some people think like sick or sewerage or smelly socks. Um, smelly socks yeah. This ice cream tastes like stewed carrots. Some people say chicken. Yeah. Some people think it's lovely, creamy, and sweet. Yeah. So yeah, everyone gets a different taste from durian. You either love it or hate it. Ice cold drink time. So I've gone for the iced coffee, and corin has gone for the iced Milo. Milo ice, which is. Um, it was like hot chocolate really, but cold. Cold, yes. Yeah, so, so like, like a chocolate milkshake. Yeah. One mm. ringgit each, guys. One ringgit. 18p. Delicious as well. Especially in this heat. Mine's really sweet. Everything's really sweet here, actually. Um, you find yeah. in Southeast Asia, they've got such a sweet tooth. I know. Um, you have to yeah. watch out. <laughs> so you get that sugar spike. Mm. Yeah. So we're getting ourselves some cheese corn. Cheese corn. Love uh, cheese, love sweet corn. Let's yeah. see what they're like together. Yes, the com <laughs> combination of the two delicious flavours combined. Go on, Corin. Cheese corn. Okay. Mm. Cheese and corn, guys. That corn is absolutely delicious. Um, so sweet and fresh. And then that cheese on top. Succulent, gooey, creaminess. Mm. That's comforting. Doesn't it? It adds a nice sort of comforting, cheesy yeah. creaminess. Literally just some sweet corn with butter. Grate some cheese over it. Quality cheese. Bob's Lovely. your uncle. That is the most delicious sweet corn I've ever tasted. Yeah, it's really good sweet it's corn. It's absolutely so fresh, perfectly steamed, and a lovely, lovely yeah. sweetness. It's not tinned. That's, that mm. tastes like straight off the cob. Really nice. Simple, yet very delicious. Mm. Cheese, corn, cheesy corn. We have two flavor. This one, pandan flavor. Ah. This one, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Uh, we'll go for the brown sugar one, I think. Yeah. Get one of them. Okay. So what have we gone for then? Well, I think they call it. It's like a homemade soya dessert. Yeah. So it's re like a really silky soybean. That looks that falls apart, and it, and it's in some gula malacca, which is um, palm sugar. Looks very interesting. It's warm as well. Just tastes like really, really silky tofu, which just falls apart in your mouth. So here we go. Look at that. 
Good like jelly, is it? So much softer than jelly. Oh. It just slides down <laughs> in, down your throat. Mm. Would you like to try some? Yes, please. Right. There she goes. <laughs> Ooh, that reminds me of something. What what does that remind me of? Reminds me of when I was young, my mum used to make a pudding with millet. Uh, millet and that's pudding. exactly what that reminds me of. It's obviously you know like a grainy, mm. sort of beany sweet dessert. I really like with that. With melted sugar on top. And that's what I used to have on my millet pudding when I was younger. Brown sugar. It's exactly what it reminds so me of. So there you go. Reminds her of her childhood. Yeah, it's really comforting. Love that. There you go. Here's a big bit for you. Uh, mm. like that. <laughs> yeah. I really, really like nice. that, yeah. That's really nice. And at two ringgit, about oh. 36 pence. Can't go wrong, can you? But with the brown sugar, the gula malacca, just, just makes that so... It's a match made in heaven. A really delicate dessert. Yeah. Very nice. Loving this, guys. Anyway, enough of our dribble. Hope you follow us on our journey around Malaysia. Good night from us. It is.